Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher and this is Sophie. <laughs> the last few weeks were absolutely devastating and I just wanted to tell everybody thank you so much for all the wonderful comments on Finn and Paisley's video. It has been a devastating couple weeks for us and losing both horses so close together was just, it was, it was horrible. Um, but I can't thank you all enough for the wonderful comments and support. Um, I've tried pretty much reading every single one of your comments. They were just so kind and thoughtful and uh, we just really can't thank you enough for all of your support during this difficult time. Um, but this video is actually going to be a happy video because we are going to uh, rescue another horse. A subscriber, his name's Mike, helped us find Noah a couple months ago. And he reached out to me and said that there was a beautiful Belgian mare that had been at Southern Wisconsin Second Chance Lot for a couple weeks now and no one had rescued her. And her ship to slaughter date was just around the corner. Uh, he sent her, sent me the post and I took a look at it and talked to Corey and the board and we all decided that we needed to go ahead and rescue her. How this is going to be 6395. This is going to be a massive Belgian mare. She come local, right out of the local Amish uh, community. She's been on the same farm her whole entire life. Uh, the only reason the Amish guy decided to get rid of her, she's getting up there in age. He's got a younger team, just don't have a lot of work for her. She's going to be 6395, the yellow tag on her butt. I've seen a lot of people mention that. That's just so we can keep track of them when they come in the lot. We know where they come from. So, you know, more than likely she don't get mistaken and put on the truck and sent directly to kill. Anyways, back to this mare, 6395. She's going to be a big old Belgian mare. She's in her upper teens, early 20s. There is her right eye. There is her left eye. And again, I'll tell you, she's in her upper teens, early 20s. And you look her over and you'd be like, no, Jason, you're lying. There's no way. She looks amazing. She looks like she's only 10, 12 years old. But I'm telling you, she's in her upper teens, early 20s. Come right off the Amish guy that I raised her. Had her her whole life. Told me the whole story about everything. She's had eight colts for him. There are her teeth. Eight colts. Out of the eight colts, six of them were fillies. The other two were stud colts. He still has most of the colts. He did sell the two stud colts. Uh, they were full brothers. Um, he's put them together as a team and sold them, and he still has all the mares out of this mare. And she is open now. She should be open. But again, like sometimes I must tend to forget about things. I forgot to do her legs, I'm sorry. But she should be open. She didn't have a colt last year. Her legs are straight, her legs are clean. Her feet are in relatively good shape. She's got a little flaring on the edges. Very common, but not horrible. A little shape job will go a long ways. Hind feet are clean. Her hind feet are in good shape. She's always been put in a stock, stands very well in a stock. What are you doing? Scratching her head on my leg? <laughs> is it itchies? This is Quinn. He's scratching his leg, his head on my leg. <laughs> However, I'm doing this video because we need to do an emergency fundraiser for her um, because we uh, weren't expecting to incur the cost that we did with Finn's surgery. Uh, after losing Finn and Paisley, um, we definitely were not expecting to have a $6,500 bill from the vet's office. So that was definitely an unexpected cost. So we're doing an emergency fundraiser to raise the funds that we need to go rescue this girl from Southern Wisconsin, check second chance lot. Uh, we did secure her bail uh, with the help of Mike. She is safe, but we do need money for transport, uh, medical bills. Uh, we do have to pay for um, boarding for a couple days until we can get up there. We did look at having a transport company go and pick her up. However, the cost of transport um, would be much less expensive if Corey went to go pick her up. We were quoted anywhere from $2,700 to four thousand dollars for transport from wisconsin to amarillo it is an 1100 mile drive because they're in columbus wisconsin um, however we just didn't think that that cost was cost effective uh, for the foundation so corey is going to go pick her up and uh, bring her back here to the farm but like i said she's going to be there for a couple days so we are going to have to pay a couple days of boarding so um, that's all going to be included in the fundraiser um, i am excited though to announce that this fundraiser is going to be the first fundraiser that is going to be on the actual big hoof foundations uh, website which is big hoof 
foundation.org. Uh, we're so excited to finally have the website up and going. This is our new Big Hoof Foundation website. At the top of the homepage, you'll see our fundraisers and how to donate, along with some information on our mission and all of our board members sitting on one of our Belgian draft horses. There's also a donate page that goes over the ways that you can support our foundation. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so your donations are tax deductible. If you wanted to donate a gift of Alpha Pro, there's information on this page as well as to where you can do that, along with our Amazon wish list. We have had some issues with our Amazon wish list and products not shipping from third party vendors, so these are some products that we use all the time and they're listed here along with a ship to address on where to send those gifts to. There's also a page called Where Does Your Donation Go? I've had a lot of questions from people that don't own horses on how much it actually costs to take care of the horses. So this page outlines that and everything that your donations go towards. There's also a page called Lives We've Saved. This is a bio of all the horses that we've rescued so far under the Big Hoof Foundation and their bios and what they're up to and some before and after pictures. We've been working really hard on it. We still have some tweaks and things to do with it, but uh, we're super excited to be able to put this on our website. I also wanted to say thank you to everybody that has sent us gifts of Alpha Pro donations, gifts from our Amazon wish list. Uh, we did receive a couple things the other day from our Amazon wish list that did not have a gift receipt. So if you didn't get a thank you note from me, I do apologize. We we have received a few uh, different items that over the last week or so that didn't come with receipt with. Uh, gift receipts. So if you didn't get a thank you from us, we do truly appreciate your support and thank you so much for sending us the wonderful gifts from our wish list. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to be rescuing these horses and giving them the life that they deserved. So we do truly appreciate your support and we're looking forward to bringing home New Girl. As soon as we can get some more information on her and we can get her here back to the farm, we'll get you another update. Um, but that is the only information that I really have on her. Um, but we'll see. We're super excited to have her here, and um, I don't know if Charlie's going to be excited about a new mayor or if he's going to be mad about a new mayor. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your support. We truly appreciate it, and head on over to the BigHoofFoundation.org and check out our new website. So uh, lots coming and lots more things coming up. So stay tuned, and we will keep you posted as to um, after we pick up New Girl and get her back here to the farm. So uh, stay tuned and we'll keep you posted. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.